Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sean and today I'm going to be taking a look at the rehearsal footage from the artists competing in semi-final two of the Eurovision Song Contest 2023. So we've seen uh, the clips from semi-final one and now let's have a look at uh, how they're doing, how the rehearsal's going um, from semi-final two. My favourite this year, Armenia, is competing in the semi and I am kind of desperate to see what she's bringing to the stage. So I'm kind of eager to just get into it. Kicking things off with Riley from Denmark. Let's have a look. Way prefer this outfit. And he sounds good. I've said it before that you'd be silly to discount this one from qualifying. Oh my god, no, stop. I said before it would be silly to discount Riley. He's got such a huge following. And the staging came correct. I I love the concept. I've seen the pictures on, on the Weebly Blogs Instagram that the stage like moves with a different room thing. A bit like Rosalind from last year. It sounds a lot better than in the Donsk Melody Grand Prix final. Um, I think that's going to qualify. I, I, I do. I might be crazy, but I think he's going to. And now Queen Brunette. <laughs> Already what I'm seeing, I'm liking. Come on. She looks insane. Flawless. Flawless. Absolutely flawless. It's only 30 seconds, of course, and I do fear that she might need to do a bit more. Like I'm assuming when she breaks into the rappy part that she's gonna get up and do some movements because she can't just stay there the whole time, unfortunately, even though that would obviously save her breath. But yeah, I, I didn't know what she was gonna come with. I can't be annoyed at that. I can't be mad at that. She sounds amazing. She looks beautiful. And I guess I just hope that there's more charisma brought to the later part of the song. Romania. Sounds good. This is annoying. He's got like he's got really great vocals. It's just a shame that the song feels just really obnoxious. I just can't get behind this song. And I I like the pink. I don't like anything else about the styling. Oh, Alika. Okay. Oh, I love the styling on this. She looks. Yeah. Like a goddess. Oh, wow. She's, if not the best, top three vocalist this year. And I'll fight anyone that argues with that. She sounds insanely good. They're loving the pink, aren't they? Okay. Have we got a little voguing situation? The way this song has grown on me. Love it. Love it. Love it. I I have got a lot of time for this song. <gasps> okay, hang on. This one's split between two videos. Hold tight. Okay, next up, Cypress. This one I've not seen anything of. I've never heard it live. And he sounds as good live as he does in the studio. 
I think the simple LED, like, is not doing much for it. Okay. It's worrying me because that probably is enough to get him through to the final. And I think that means Greece is probably going to get the elbow. I mean, I've not seen Victor yet, but he does sound very talented in that very short clip. Okay, let's see. Iceland. I needed more from Dilia. And it looks like they're not bringing much more of a concept. Again, though, her charisma levels are off the chains and her vocals are beautiful. But I wanted more than just her with the background. Okay. Oh my god. I don't think that's enough. It, fuck. This song, I don't know how it's happened, but this has ended up being like the one that I'm backing the most. This is like the one underdog that I am. I mean, Lithuania as well, but Lithuania isn't less of an underdog at this point. I am so so strongly backing Victor Vernikos and this song and I've said it I said it in my uh, chat with um, Kostis from the Greeks if you haven't watched that please do I'll link it in the in the little description please go and watch that but this is the one song I feel like could have the same um, sort of huge after Eurovision success like Rosalind had with Snap I think this is so underrated it hurts me however I expected more from the staging. I thought his creativity and the way he wrote the song and the production and all the elements that made this what it is, I thought he'd bring that same level of creativity to the staging. And right now all I'm seeing is him with smoke and not much else. So now I'm worried. <laughs> In any case, I love this song. So yeah, there's that. Blanca, what are you doing, my darling? Okay, we've got some pyro. Okay. It's a very generic and basic, amazing, but basic and generic song. So we're gonna need to add some flavor. Okay, we've got some gorgeous floor LED. And we've got a costume change. Oh, we've got a dance break. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm not mad at all. I guess, I mean, last year's Polish entry was an extremely quality song and they decided more is more is more with the staging and absolutely killed it. This year's song is not as high quality in and of itself. So it can do with some more is more is more staging. And do you know what? They have thrown everything at it. And I can see this being shat on. Like, I mean, let's not go into like the whole how she got there, whatever. I, I don't care. I am not mad at that. I think they thought, what do we need to do to give this our best shot? And they decided let's do everything. So... Fair play, she's giving, she's giving her all. I'm, I'm not mad at that. Slovenia. His interaction with the camera, breaking the fourth wall. This feels like you're at their concert. This is qualifying. He has got such amazing presence. Yeah, yeah, that's qualifying. Wow. See this staging smoke, 
is what I got from Lorene in the national finals that I'm missing from her rehearsal clip. They need this. Yes. Amazing. Wow, I like the lights. And he's on the note. I can't say the same for Ireland. It's basic. They could, uh, I mean, if they ha were going to give themselves a shot, then they should have done probably more. But this is respectable. He sounds really, really good. My girls, what are they doing? Okay, we have dancers. That's something. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Not too much. Not too little. I love having that, that, that yes, they've done that so brilliantly. A few dancers, they're not going crazy. They're keeping, because they're sat, how good do they sound? The way they harmonize, they are spot on. But having the dancers on the LEDs as well, making it feel bigger than it is. Come on, girls, they're gonna win the semi. Okay, Albania. Why is this good? This is very, very, very good. This is one of the best clips from this semi. She sounds inc she sounds incredible. And I she was so off my radar, I could not tell you. Wow. And I found this the whole family thing is so cringe this whole time. But I don't I, I'm not mad about that at all. Am I going to be eating my words with Albania? I think so. Right, come on, Lithuania. Let's see. Okay. I actually prefer the outfit from the national final, honestly. The high boots. But anyway. Still sounds insane. Keeping it very much the same energy as the national final. The gorgeous backing dancers, the gorgeous graphics, love the colour scheme. Oh, beautiful. And Australia to finish. Bringing it, bringing the energy. Amazing closer. These guys are going to qualify. Yeah, closing the show with this high impact performance. I think they've got it in the bag. Yeah. Well, that's it for today, but We're going to see Australia in the final. Yeah, yeah, we are. Okay, let me look at the running order, gather my thoughts, and figure out who I think is going to make it to the final. Okay. Okay, this one remains less clear-cut than the first. I'm concerned and confused, but who I think probably will qualify. Denmark, I do. Armenia, my favorite of the entire year. Estonia, Belgium. Oh, I don't want to say Cyprus, but probably Cyprus. He sounded so good. I fear for Iceland and Greece now. Slovenia, Georgia, Austria, Lithuania and Australia. But Poland and Albania, they brought quite iconic staging. So I am very concerned that I'm going to lose a fave in this semi-final and I can't say the same for semi-final one. This whole season I've been referring to semi-final one as the bloodbath. 
but I think the second semi is the one that's going to upset me the most. So those are my thoughts. What do you guys think? Please let me know down below who you think is going to qualify, who you think is elevated the most in these rehearsal clips. And I will see you all very soon for my reaction to the rehearsals of the big six. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.